subscribe to James the Sheriff Dixon, you motherfuckers. What's going on, guys? James here to bring you another video. And this one, we'll be doing a The Walking Dead Season 9 discussion video. So, this video has been talked about on this channel, or this discussion I said Yeah, this dis... Ah, I can't talk. This discussion I said should say has been brought up on this channel before. And I'm going to say it. Um... Could there still be a civil war before Rick's death, and could the civil war be the cause of Rick's death? Now, I have been seeing this float around ever since the way Maggie's been acting on the show towards Rick. The same with Daryl, especially since this last week's episode, ever since we saw what happened with Elrod. So, let's talk about this. Could um, Rick be killed off by either Maggie or Daryl? So, that's been... I've talked about this before, but um, this is going to be a short video because I've talked about this before, but I still think the chances of there being a civil war are 50-50 because the writers want Maggie to come back for a 10th season, and it's still speculated that Maggie's last episode will be the same as Rick's. Now, she's supposed to be in for six or so episodes or something like that, and Rick's only in for five, so maybe her last episode has to deal with the... Uh, season 9 finale or something like that with the news of Dwight possibly coming back and because I said that before that Dwight is possibly coming back for the season 9 finale maybe he has to deal with that now that we know that Jadis is in contact with the helicopter maybe she might leave on the helicopter I'm talking about Maggie here maybe Maggie might leave on the helicopter and go to the Commonwealth if the, that's what the helicopter is in contact with or the second option is Maggie might leave with Georgie and Georgie is still the one that's in contact with the Kamo, but that's still a highly less likely chance because that would be way introducing the Commonwealth super early because we met, met we met Georgie back in season like the very beginning of season eight or was it was either yeah it was season eight it could have been season seven because we were deal still dealing we were still dealing with Negan set we were still dealing with Negan in season seven I I can't talk tonight but um yeah. Um, I think it's, again, I think it's a 50-50 chance that we could get the Civil War before Rick dies, or if not, like, right after Rick dies, like, maybe Rick's death will be the cause of a Civil War, like, after he, say after he dies, like, that's gonna be, like, either a separation of the communities, or it'll be, like, a bringing together of the communities. Like, you already know that some people are gonna, like, wanna leave, like, after he, he dies. You already know there's gonna be, like, maybe, like, a group of people, or, like, one or two people that are gonna be like, nope, I'm done, I want out of this. There's gonna always be that. But, there's always that chance that, like, um, maybe, because Maggie's still pissed, and she said she wants to see Negan in the next episode. Who knows what he's going to say to her. He's going to get in her head. That's what Negan does. He's going to get in her head. So, will Maggie or Daryl kill Rick or one of the two? Because I've seen all of her, like, spoiler stuff. Well, not specifically spoiler stuff, but within the fan base, I've heard speculations that Daryl might lead Rick into a trap, and that said trap will ensue the whispers blah 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 to lead Rick to his death but if that's the case that will make fans hate Daryl I mean I can't see Daryl killing Rick with the relationship that they've gotten throughout the show if anything's gonna kill Rick I still think it's gonna be the Whisperers that's my strong suit because they're bringing the person who played Opie from Sons of Anarchy I think it's gonna be Beta that kills Rick or Alpha he's I still think it's going to be Beta, because it's it's Ryan Hurst. It's Opie, man. But, again, I think it's going to be 50-50 that we might get a Civil War storyline before Rick dies. He only, he's only on, by the time this video is out, he's only going to be on for two more episodes after this Sunday's episode. But, um, like I said, 50-50 for Civil War, and could Maggie or Daryl kill Rick? I doubt Daryl will. He's pissed right now, but I doubt it. But Maggie, I have, she resents Rick right now. Like, I can see that. She wants to lead herself. Like, I can see Maggie doing it, but I can't see Rick. I mean, I can see Maggie doing it, but I can't see Daryl. So, with that, I'm going to end it there and say it's a 50-50 for the Civil War. I've said that several times now. And I don't see Daryl killing Rick. It's a, like a one, it'll be a 180 if he does. 
I think it'll be the Whisperers that kills Rick, and I can definitely see Maggie try to kill Rick. But then again, I still think it's going to be the Whisperers, Beta, that kills Rick. It'll be surprising if it's Alpha, but we all know that Ryan Hurst is a great actor. If you've seen him in other shows, I think it's a smart chance to make Alpha, or not Alpha, but Beta, to be the one to kill Rick. So with that, I'm going to end up there and say this is James saying, if you like what you've been seeing, please like and subscribe for more. This is James saying, we only got two episodes left with Rick. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, I'm interested to see what they do if there's going to be a five or six year time jump. I'm very interested to see if there is that since we got that news this past summer. So yeah, I will see you in the next one, guys. With that, I will see you in the next one. Peace. All right, um, I just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy, and he is super cool for coming to the show. I'm glad I got to meet him in person, and you should subscribe.